In this video, we're going to look at recording screencasts with the Medio plugin in Moodle. First, from your Moodle course, you must turn the editing on. And then add an activity or resource. And from here, you can choose Medio. So there's the Medio. Click Add. And from here, then you can give it a name any extra information but when you click add media you have an option to add a screen recording the first time that you add a screen recording it will have to do an install you see the option to download and on this occasion i'll just save it to my desktop and from there, once it's downloaded, I can run it. Once the plugin is fully installed, you will then be able to access the Medial Recording Tools. Now that I've installed the plugin, when I'm adding a medial um, activity, I can click the Add Media. And if I click the screen recording, it'll ask me to open the medial lecture. It then brings up some hints and tips, as well as the recording options here. And they can be accessed from the taskbar and the medial lecture icon there. So I'll close the hints and tips, access the medial icon, and in this option, I'm going to choose just the screen and the microphone. There are options to include a webcam, just the webcam and the microphone, and just the voice. So for this occasion, I'll use the screen and the microphone. And it's asking me which monitor. Some people have more than one monitor. I'm going to use this one. I could select an area of that monitor to capture, so maybe cut out the taskbar or anything else that might give away any other information about my computer. But on this occasion, I'll just capture the whole screen and then hit record. It's given me some hints and tips on how to pause and how to draw, but it is now recording. If I jump into PowerPoint, and this is what I wanted to record, so I would start my PowerPoint slideshow and just simply step through it. If you remember, there were some options to draw, so if I, on a PC, press Alt and D, we now have the drawing tools, and I can choose a pen, a highlighter, and various different shapes. On this occasion, I'll choose a red pen. I'll make the line a bit thicker and I'll highlight or circle a specific area. I could use other tools such as the arrow and point at something, or maybe even the highlighter and make that yellow. When I'm finished, I can exit my PowerPoint, sorry, close the drawing tools first, exit my PowerPoint, and then I can simply choose the screen capture tools and hit done. So it's now playing through my recording, but there are some other small things that I can do. I can so for example, here I want to get the part where the PowerPoint is full screen. So just pause it here and then hit trim and come up to that point. It's a very basic trim, but once I've selected, you can see from the start to the point where it becomes full screen, I can click apply. Now the part before my PowerPoint was full screen has been removed from the recording. If I wanted to cut out this slide that it's transitioning to, 
I can find that on my timeline. So I want to come from here and pause it here and I can chop a little section out. So I can say from here to here and if I then apply that I will have chopped that slide out that I no longer need. Once I am happy with the edits I have made, I can click done and I can give the screencast a name. All of these areas have to have some um, content, some detail in them. On this occasion, I'll make it private, which means that only I can see it. If I choose public, anyone else with access to Medial can see the video and use it. So I'll choose private. And I'm happy with that, so I will upload it straight. I can save it, which will then be available for me to use at a later date. And I can also take a quick look at it, but we've just done that with the edit tools. So on this occasion, I will upload it. It's told me it's been uploaded, but I still have one more step before I can add it to my course. If I jump back to Moodle. Now that I'm in Moodle, when I click Add Media, I can choose an existing media item. And we'll see here that I have this screencast that I've just done called Screencast 1. And I can simply just click Select next to that. I can make it available for download for people who view it. And just hit next and that is now done. I can add in any extra information or how I want it to open. If I then scroll to the bottom and hit save and return to course, when I see my screencast, if I click on the screencast, it will now open it for people to view.